Hey everyone, it's Ken. Tesla just quietly made a huge move that could change everything. The company has officially shut down its in-house supercomputer project, Dojo. But hold on, this isn't just a retreat. Elon Musk says it's actually a leap forward. In this video, we're diving into what really happened to the Dojo project, why Tesla is shifting gears, and what this all means for Tesla owners and investors like us. Let's get into it. First, let's rewind a bit. What exactly was Dojo? Dojo was Tesla's ambitious in-house AI supercomputer project. It was designed to process massive amounts of video data from Tesla vehicles to train its full self-driving FSD AI systems. Tesla even developed its own custom AI chip, the D1, to reduce reliance on external GPUs like those from NVIDIA. Elon Musk has hyped up Dojo multiple times as the most powerful training computer in the world since around 2021. But progress was bumpy. Leadership changes, delays, and unclear updates in recent years hinted that things weren't going smoothly. And now the big news. Tesla has reportedly disbanded the Dojo team. Pete Bannon, a key architect behind Dojo and a former Apple executive, has left the company. Around 20 core team members have moved to a new startup called Density AI, which is expected to focus on AI chips and robotics hardware. Other members were reassigned within Tesla to different data center and compute divisions. This essentially confirms the end of the D1-based Dojo project as we knew it. But this isn't the end of the story. Shortly after the news broke, Elon Musk posted on X to clarify Tesla's direction. He wrote, It is not rational for Tesla to scale two quite different AI chip programs. All efforts will go into AI5, AI6, and beyond. So Tesla is shifting its focus from the D1 chip to the next gen AI5 and AI6 chips. He added, AI5 and AI6 are very good at inference and quite good at training. A board with many of them makes sense as a cluster. You could call that Dojo 3. In other words, Dojo isn't dead. It's being redefined. The D1 based project is ending but a new architecture built around AI5 and AI6 could emerge, possibly under the name Dojo 3. Musk also emphasized that in the future, much of AI training will rely on synthetic data generated through inference, making these new chips even more crucial. So again, this isn't about scaling back. It's about doubling down on what works best. This shift also signals something bigger. Tesla is moving from in-house development to more strategic collaboration with external partners. They've already been using NVIDIA and AMD chips. Dojo was an effort to reduce that dependency. But with the recent change, Tesla seems more open to integrating high-performance chips from the outside. One major development Tesla reportedly signed a large-scale AI chip manufacturing deal with Samsung. Samsung is likely to be a key partner in producing AI5 and AI6 chips at scale. Tesla is clearly optimizing for scalability, speed, and flexibility. It's not about pride in building everything alone. It's about winning. Let's wrap it all up. Yes. The original Dojo project built on the D1 chip has ended, leadership has left, teams have been reassigned or moved on, but this is not a failure. Elon Musk is redirecting Tesla's energy toward the more powerful, scalable AI5 and AI6 chips. He even hints at calling the next gen system Dojo 3. At the same time, Tesla is embracing external partnerships to accelerate its AI ambitions. For us as Tesla investors and owners, the key takeaway isn't whether Dojo as a name survives. What matters is that Tesla's AI vision is evolving toward a smarter, faster, more efficient future. This is not an ending. It's a reset for the next chapter. So what do you think? Is this a step back 
or a setup for a leap forward? Let me know in the comments below. And by the way, Tesla stock is currently up at $330, likely reflecting a positive investor reaction to this dojo update. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit that like button and subscribe. I post Tesla updates every day, so if you want to stay fully in the loop, this channel's got you covered. And before I go, I'm also active on X and Instagram where I share even more Tesla insights. I'd love to connect with Tesla fans from around the world. If you're ever planning a trip to Japan, feel free to drop your questions in the comments. Happy to help however I can. Thanks again for watching and let's enjoy the ride with Tesla together. See you in the next one.